people should leave her alone because it's her business. It's what she wants to have a, a good man for herself. There's nothing wrong with wanting something good for yourself. If you don't want her, it's okay, but shut up. <laughs> business has been impacted by this you guys in a negative way mm. what do you guys think about that that's bad i mean that in mind that oh I, I want a total package it is going to keep a lot of women you know uh, single it, so many of them are going to remain single i think i think I think, I think I think it is What's up YouTube? What's cool? What's good? What's happening? It's time for life. African auntie and uncle are on deck because today we're going to look at Jessica or as you may know her, the average at best lady. Now, now that we know her name, we might as well call her Jessica, but the best way to refer to her is that because that's how people know her. But, um, you know, we all know her from the interview that she did with the popular YouTube image consultant Kevin Samuels here on YouTube and yeah um he basically said that she was average average at best and at the end of the interview said that she would most likely die alone so that sparked a lot of outrage and people have been going back and forth you've got the women on youtube that are like go for a high value man no matter what you've got the men saying you guys don't deserve a high value man because you guys aren't what we are looking for you're not the arm candy we're looking for there's been a debate there's been a debacle there's been all kinds of things going back and forth and um, but now jessica she is here with Paris and she is from the matchmaking service realblacklove.com and um, so we're gonna just react to a snippet of a few snippets of that interview and then we're also going to look at the popular youtuber Chrissy who actually had an email exchange with this lady Jessica and we're in where she was very in which she was very candid about certain things and how she's faring today so let's see how this uh, story uh, progressed basically Describe your ideal man. One, a good character. Two, a good father. Um, a masculine man. Someone who's self-driven, who has vision, vicious. And so at first, I was like, okay, why are we still asking her? Like, what is she looking for in a man? Why are we still? Do are we trying to get her date? Are we what? What are we trying to do here? Because these are just a few snip few snippets, but they went really into what kind of man she's looking for, what kind of character what she values, values in a man. But obviously this is uh, a woman from a matchmaking service, a lady on the left called Paris. So obviously she's trying to, hey, see if she can help her sister out. Who um, has, he said masculine, what's, what's masculine to you? Masculine is not necessarily a physical trait, but it has core values of a traditional man. I can't give somebody that drive. I can imagine like, People are trying to leech off of her mm -hmm. kind of thing right she's looking for somebody with ambition she doesn't want to feed the person ambition kind of thing if i was to round up your exes and ask them what's one good thing about jessica and what's one major bad thing about jessica what would they tell you <laughs> um well they'll say that i'm loyal and they'll probably say that honestly if i have an issue in a relationship a lot of times i don't as far as it whenever um, she said that she doesn't like confrontation which would explain how she behaved on that interview with kevin kevin samuels you know she didn't want to be mm. coming at him rah 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 like mm. she doesn't like confrontation we was watching a video and, and a lot of other professionals who work in the field they they kind of came to the same conclusion that you know you really weren't really being heard you know yeah. you know everything that she was after and kind of the reasoning why um, just just tell me briefly, like, what was the whole conversation around, like, um, you wanted a guy that was high earning and, and making six figures. Why was that important or seemed to be highlighted? That's his main thing. But my thing was too. So she's saying that that's his main thing. thing. Kevin Samuel's whole channel is about high value men, mm -hmm. high value this, high value that. So that's his thing. Mm -hmm. so if you want to call in, obviously the topic is going to be that. Just like how there's other channels, like Chrissy's channel, where she's advocating for women black women to find high value men these this is what some of these channels their their whole channel or most of it evolves around that so it wasn't weird that she was asking about that specifically because that's what he talks about anyway mm -hmm. one is i made six figures myself six figures is not a lot of it's not a millionaire and all i was simply saying is i want my because um you guys ever since this interview has come 
I think a lot of people have been reevaluating their life because now you have a bunch of people on the internet talking about six figures is not a lot of money. Like she just said, it's not a millionaire. Mm -hmm. Whereas a lot of people are making five figures. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it real. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, so it's like that. Like, <laughs> well, what are we doing with our lives? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. So a lot of people have been questioning their life and their lifestyle because apparently this six figure thing is just easy the way these people are talking mm -hmm. so learning our past if i stay down then i'm financially i'm paying for all of a sudden now i'm paying for things and all of a sudden now i got it so those are the experiences that you that's the experiences that she's had that she dates down so somebody who's not making making as much as her mm -hmm. and then she has to pay for everything dates this mm -hmm. that everything mm -hmm. what do you guys think about that if the love is there and you have to pay for everything. Is that okay or is that really a deal breaker? You know, it, it actually depends. It goes both ways because you can decide, okay, the individual does not make that much, but uh, I mean, he's okay for my liking. But looking at it from another perspective, some people take advantage of a situation like mm -hmm. that. The fact that, you know, uh, one person, say the lady, who makes a lot of money, you know, pays for everything. The man, man can take advantage of that and yeah, uh, take the woman to be a fool or something like that. Mm -hmm. On the other way around, you can also look at it from another perspective, that the, the man looking at the woman paying for everything would say, oh, okay, this woman has actually helped me, has brought me up to a certain standard and now I'm okay. So I'm also going to help her to make the relationship work. So it goes both ways. But the know? problem is, will the relationship work? Because I can also imagine that once you give them a part of your business or you give them shares and whatever you're mm -hmm. doing and they are okay and you bring them up to that level, they skedazzle then and some, jump on the next some, chick. Some, I do understand you 100%. Some do stay around, but majority go away. Mm -hmm. And some may even come and collapse your business. So yeah. it is a situation that, you know, it is very difficult to assess. But by then, I think it is worth the risk. It is worth the risk because I have known a couple of people who have taken the risk of taking men, you know, uh, who do not make any income at all. They don't have any income at all. But they have brought them to a certain standards and now they are together very, very successful human beings and very successful i mean a married couple the problem is it's not desirable not for anybody even if you're not making six <laughs> figures to go with somebody who doesn't make anything at all or makes less than you it's not desirable and it's never going to be desirable my thing is love is not really something you're just gonna hand pick i think things like these apps these dating apps and these websites and stuff are making it that we're we're doing a build a bear boyfriend and a build a bear uh girlfriend which is I want this, I want that, I want that, I want that. And then we kind of, that's, you know, but is that realistic? Because back in the day when all this wasn't around, it was just by chance. And you'd meet somebody and you'd like them for who they are. And you'd get to know all that later. But now that's what people lead with. And even people lead with their degrees. You know, I have this, I have that. This is how much I make. This is, you know, yeah. what it's, do you think? That is not based on love. No. True love can be anything. You it's know? not based on love. It's based on what kind of life am life I going to have? I want to have. Financially. Yeah. Financially. Financial yeah. security. Financially is good, but I mean, it doesn't work always that way. Mm -hmm. The love has to come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the most important yeah. thing. Love can build a mountain, you know. Also, the love has to be there as a foundation because all these riches can go. Can go. If 2020 yeah. hasn't shown people that all this stuff can go in a heartbeat. Yeah. Love is these days is very, very difficult to find. People depend so much on I I, I mean I don't want to you know say that true love does not exist anymore. Because people really depend on materialistic things so much so that, you know, it is very difficult to really find a true love. Coming back to the, the, the question you raised a couple of minutes ago, if love were to be there, if love, true love were to be around, you know, if you meet a man and the man does not have anything, you are well to do, you, you, you are a billionaire, millionaire, you name it, and you pick up the man, you really love the man, you know. I really don't think there should be any reason to be afraid that, oh, me taking this man, maybe if it's okay, uh, he will run away. Mm -hmm. Or the man coming into the relationship, 
knowing very well that he came into the relationship without anything, he will try to do his utmost to bring the relationship relationship to higher heights, mm -hmm. so that the two of them to be, I mean, will be together. Yeah. But many a times, what do you see that the man also coming into the relationship, see that oh. Uh, I'm going to reap where I didn't sow. Mm -hmm. You know, where he sees that the money is coming like that, he he, he makes the best out of it and uh, off he goes. Two things. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are saying, well, you make the six figures, so you're cool. Why do you need somebody who takes, makes mm -hmm. the six figures? Mm -hmm. The other thing people are saying is, you won't get somebody with six figures because as you yourself said, or agreed to, you're average. So. High value men, and this is what I've seen in my comment section. <laughs> high value men don't like average. Yeah. Mm. They don't like that. They don't like average. They mm -hmm. don't like average what women. What do they like? They like the cute, uh, you know, the. Also the, high value. Well, see, that's another thing. The high value men, I don't think they care if it's high value. They just want arm candy. Mm. They want to walk into the gala. They want to walk into somewhere with a nice woman who is maybe 30 years younger. I'm just saying something. But at least somebody who looks like turns heads. Mm -hmm. That's what they want. And whether the person mm. works or not, you see when the roles are reversed, the guy doesn't mind acting like a sugar daddy. Mm -hmm. Going to lavish mm -hmm. you, you just sit there and look pretty and be on my arm. But when the roles are reversed, and I think this is also something very new because we are not used to women making so much money. This is something like in the last maybe two decades or so, right? There, there were a few, but now it's more, right? Women are making more and more money, right? The high value men want arm candy. They don't care, it seems. Because mm -hmm. this is what I've been hearing in videos, this is what I've been seeing in comment sections. They just want the woman to look pretty. Yeah, um, another thing in that video that really stood out to everyone was the rate yourself part. Yeah. If you could go back over again and, and, and rate yourself, tell me, tell me, how would you, one, would you do it? And if you were to do it, how would you rate yourself? I would rate myself all around. Looks, um, my characteristic, who I am as a person, and with all that said, I would say to you. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but he he was saying just looks, and I was trying to entertain his logic or whatever he was saying. And a lot of the part that people didn't hear is he said that if Beyonce was an eight and you can't use seven, what do you rate yourself? I mean, we did not hear that. Mm -hmm. I think I, I think he did he did kind of say that or or whatever. Mm -hmm. Something like that. So if Beyonce Beyonce mm -hmm. oh, oh oh is an eight, mm -hmm. so to him Beyonce is not even a ten. Mm. See, a lot of men online have been talking about, okay, she may be beautiful to some people, you know, I beauty is in the eye of the beholder, mm -hmm. but there's a social norm of what is beautiful. Now, if we take that argument, Beyonce is a 10 plus, mm -hmm. because obviously in the eyes of social, socially, she's seen as very, very beautiful, right? A lot of people can agree to this. She's seen as one of the most beautiful people on earth, even though we haven't seen everybody on earth. She's one person in the public eye that everybody deems beautiful. Yet, this man classes her as an eight. Mm -hmm. So, well, this uh, it all has to do with choice. Maybe the type of right. woman that man would rate uh, as 10, Beyonce doesn't fall into that category, you know, because, yeah, some people like fat women. Maybe it's that kind of an individual. He, he would rate a very fat lady. You know, a ten, and uh, someone <laughs> with Beyonce's figure as seven or eight. Beyonce. So it 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 uh, it it uh, depends. It, dep it depends on the individual. Mm. You know, this this is a matter of choice. He doesn't like. I don't think he likes them fat. Cause yeah, all the people who have derived from his channel were kind of doing what he's doing. They're always like anti-fat people. Mm. You know, I I also there are se certain men. No matter what, I've been watching a program on the BBC and there is a guy there, part of the jury. He, I mean, he comments anything that is, that all the jury will find good, he alone will find mm -hmm. something wrong with it. Mm -hmm. You know, so maybe this uh, Samuel guy is, is one of those uh, yeah. individuals mm -hmm. yeah, that, that he exactly. finds, mm -hmm. no matter how cute you are, he will find something wrong with it. I think Beyonce is a 10, but since she's an 8 and I can't do 7, I guess I say 6. Because we shouldn't forget that she didn't just say five. She actually says 6 mm -hmm. when she's put together. Mm -hmm. She's a 6. And he said, don't use 7. Now it kind of makes sense why she went for the 5 6 mm -hmm. thing, right? Mm -hmm. She had to think quick on the spot as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, 
I, I said in the last video as well that the don't to choose seven thing was a psychological mm. thing. It's kind of to trip you up, you know. I feel like, you know, when we wake up as women, we're average and we, you know, put ourselves together. And he really written me on his head. And he, yeah. What, 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 what scale is he on? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think I'm a confident woman, but when I was put on that platform, and then I looked at my phone and I see my face plastered up there. And you wasn't expecting that. I right? didn't know my face was up there. <laughs> She did not know her face was being shown to us. Mm. When, when she, she was being interviewed. Yep. And that's why she took her phone and saw herself and she was like, oh. So then now the, the whole situation look, was funny to her because I told you it's either she's really baffled or insanity is set in because the way she was laughing is like, oh. But she didn't say anything either, you know, mm -hmm. but I'm sure that was a shock. And even Kevin Samuels himself would be shocked if you're talking to somebody and you think it's only him who can see you and you're mm -hmm. having a one-on-one. -on -one but the thing is, he did say, Mom, I don't want to do this here. Book a one-on-one. -on -one. You have the money. Mm -hmm. Book a one-on-one -on -one and we'll talk about this. <laughs> but he was now like, let me make, you know, let me make this a lesson to everybody who comes on my show and calls mm -hmm. me on a day that they weren't supposed to call in and still persists. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you're going to be out there. And that is social media for you. It is very, very strange that she would come on a program like that and uh, would think that uh, her face was not being shown. You think so? Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. not its not all the time that they show faces. Mm -hmm. But my but, thing is... But the summer guy knew... Obviously. He had to press she, certain she, buttons she, for it to be she, broadcast. He should have said that she's on video. No, but I think if she didn't... The thing is, she wanted a private... It's like she wanted a private session, but it wasn't private. Mm. Because otherwise, she should have also put her video off there. Mm. Or said, you know, the part where she said, can you see me? And then he was like, yes, I can see you. Mm. So there, she thought maybe it's only him and her. Mm. But I think even then, she should have been like... Even that, that whole thing was not necessary. If you think you're 10 all around, he doesn't need to see you. Mm. Because you already know what this guy's like. He tells it like it is. And we, from everything I've seen, this is how this guy is. Mm. It's just like that interesting uncle everybody has in their family who just says it like it is, or that grandpa, they they don't care. No mm. filter. You see, my take on this issue is that this lady sitting there, I, I, I don't, she has just said that she is not a woman of self-confidence. No, she says she is confident. She is confident. Yes, she is. She is confident. She is. She so is what is what is the matter with her? What is her problem actually? If she has that com confidence. I mean, she looks very confident to me. Then and even here, mm. she's very comfortable. Um, she's very calm. She seems like a very sweet lady. Um, the, the problem is the problem that a lot of people are having right now. The dating scene is dry. And then on top of it, she earns a lot. So she's not trying to date There's down she just who, doesn't want to date down who doesn't have anything so she she's not prepared to date down to find an average guy mm. and mm. you know make sure that things work no because no i can tell that he was trying to push me and i can tell he wanted to he wanted me to be that angry black girl you know, see what we said mm -hmm. that we were so happy and thanking God that she didn't do the ah, mm -hmm. stuff because oh now we would have seen everywhere angry black woman refuses to accept she's average mm -hmm. or something like that so mm -hmm. she kept her composure and I think that's why and also the fact that she doesn't like confrontation I think that is why she seemed not to really say much and she was just looking at her phone I mean yeah reach out to her because you know good thing the last single out here for long so let's hop to it so this is the thing that this Paris lady, the one on the left, is um, this is her thing. Pop up match a virtual dating show for eligible black singles. Think you're a good match? Blacksinglespopup.com. So I guess the the aim of this is to one clear Jessica's name and give her side to the story, which she deserves mm. to do. And also, hey, if you want to mingle with this lady, here you go. Mm -hmm. But like I said, Chrissy, a popular YouTuber on on this uh, platform she had an email exchange with this jessica and she goes into further detail on what actually behind the scenes went on with jessica so that's chrissy there she has 185,000 subscribers on youtube and we're gonna dive right into it she doesn't like conflict and she naturally avoids it but just know that behind the scenes she is handling her business she is working to repair her reputation and the brand that she's built with her business because her business has been impacted by this you guys in a negative way mm -hmm. what do you guys think about that that's bad yeah 
so i kept thinking about that because i was like okay pet grooming somebody with a dog that goes there to get their pet groomed i don't know how many times a year it's like hey that's my pet that's the lady of that place somebody will recognize her mm -hmm. from the business mm -hmm. and my thought the whole time was how would you, you react mm -hmm. what if this was your baker or your your florist or your 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 local whatever whatever how would you react like all her business is kind of out there you know usually you don't know especially a money somebody in a managerial position you wouldn't know their business like that everything was out the person's been ridiculed mm -hmm. and how would that affect her business and now we know it has affected it mm -hmm. negatively. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. It has affected her business. Yes. Yeah. So, because of the publicity. Yes. Mm, that is bad. You know, I mean, look, we the the age that we're in, this is a social media age. Mm -hmm. Anything that comes on social media is taken very, very seriously. It's for everybody. Mm -hmm. It is you are in the public domain and you know every everything is taken very 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 seriously and this is what i have been saying day in and day out that you know it is good that these ladies they come on the show this dating show and things like that but by then they really have to know the replication because mm -hmm. your whole life is going to be in the public domain mm -hmm. i'm yeah. not surprised that it has affected it and uh, somebody yeah. will say yeah, you gave uh, six figures from grooming my dog. <laughs> I'm not coming anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might not. You might not think that's yeah. that's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I I really find you know it's very very unfortunate situation mm. because you know she came what she was looking for she didn't get mm. and this thing has gone to affect her business. Her business. Mm -hmm. You see, so I am saying this and I'm sure people listening should take this my piece of advice very very seriously that the internet the social media all these things are here to stay and anything that we do on it we have to know that it will go viral mm -hmm. you know viral in the sense that it spreads most mm -hmm. most of the time when it goes when it spreads it has an adverse effect so let's all be especially very, if it's controversial yeah let's mm -hmm. let, let, let us be very very careful there are a lot of issues that people can talk about but but then you can just come and talk about it but think about the replications mm -hmm. that that will have on your life getting harassed and trolled by these disgruntled dusties online and she was really upset about it and i'm happy that she didn't allow it to keep her down because like i said before this could have ended badly people harm themselves over things like this all mm -hmm. the time so i'm just glad that she's bouncing back You're that's the problem like this could have really mm -hmm. really you gone badly you yeah such things mm -hmm. guys what we say doesn't work and how delusional it is and seeking out the black men online is, is so much better then i'm gonna need to see proof of that younger woman getting with an older man is more likely to be there only for his money as opposed to an older woman who may be genuinely attracted to him for other reasons as well as his money as the men criticizing her are not 100 percent traditional either most men today want women who work now that jessica is aware of our sector on youtube she has a chance and she definitely has a chance because now she's been match me match matched up basically mm -hmm. so these are our final thoughts about the whole situation we've heard what chrissy just had to say i'm really glad that she reached out to her or however it went and that she was able to talk to somebody and that she knows that there's a community out there of people who who are like-minded and regardless of if people say oh she'll never get with the high value men oh high value men don't like this they might be one that will mm. you know a lot of people online are talking a lot of smack and my thing is what does your life look like mm. you know this is somebody who just wants the best for herself whether she's average or not whatever you want to think about that she did not make herself average or bomb.com you know she is who she is she's confident in who she is and how she is she's worked hard to get to a certain level and this is what she wants everybody's allowed to have so many celebrities if you look at them some of them you're like how did you get with that one just based on looks we don't know what they're like but there's so many matches that are being made that were like uh how does that even match you guys don't look like mm -hmm. you match but they get yeah, they're there and the first thing you say actually i had this once where a girl that i knew she a black girl she was dating somebody uh who was white and he was way older and then at some point she was like so this is my um no she was like oh him over there that's that's my um my boyfriend and then immediately after she said he treats me really well mm -hmm. and i was like okay i did not ask for that i just saw the guy 
<laughs> Why did she have to say that? Because the man was old, mm -hmm. and most people would say average looking according to social norms mm -hmm. right so she felt like she had to clarify why she was with this dude sure because you know she didn't want the what do you call it she didn't want me to judge mm -hmm. sure and i'm sure she was smart enough to have done that mm -hmm. because looking at the age difference she coming in and saying oh this is my husband or whoever it is and she treats me very good i think she's a very smart smart lady how very very smart lady because she wants you to know that i mean the man is old and the reason why he's with a man is just the fact that the man treats her very good but for me i was like so you're going to go around and be telling everybody this hi this is blah 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 he treats me very well hi this is blah 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 he treats me very well for me to have to put a she disclaimer she doesn't want anybody to judge her or judge them yeah, but that, that in itself is sad mm. that in itself is sad and it just shows that once it's mixed match so like if this woman this jessica lady if she goes for somebody who is uh who who if she dates down what's gonna happen is that a lot of people are gonna be like why are you with him mm -hmm. and she's gonna have to say i'm with ray ray from the hood but he treats me really good mm -hmm. it's sad it's sad that we have to do that because if she found love in ray ray who am i to say anything mm -hmm. who am i to judge yeah, she doesn't want people to go and judge. She wants to tell you why she is with that old dude. That's interesting. People should leave her alone because it's her business. It's her business. It's her thought. It's what she wants to have a, a good man for herself. There's nothing wrong with wanting something good for yourself. If you don't want that, it's okay, but shut up. <laughs> you know, one thing, the, the total package thing is because who doesn't want a good thing? The total package thing is, is good, you know, you want a man who is as handsome as I am, you want a man who has who has that six figures that they are all looking for. Which you don't have. You, you want a man who is presentable like I am, you know, so I mean the total package thing is, is, is very important, but, but then uh, if all women I mean, keeping in mind that the women are in the majority. There are a lot of women around. So having that in mind that, oh, I, I want a total package. It is going to keep a lot of women, you know, uh, single. It, so many of them are going to remain single. I think I think, I think, I think, I think it is, it is, it yeah. is okay. The total package thing is okay. Mm -hmm. But my advice to ladies, my advice to ladies and i'm sure a lot of ladies will listen to what i'm saying my piece of advice is that in as much as the total package is necessary it is good yet my take on the whole issue is that at times they have to limit you know they have to limit their their how do you call it their, yeah, their request, or, request mm -hmm. or demands a little mm -hmm. bit mm -hmm. because the, the the total package men are also maybe not, go for love and the total package come. men are also not in the majority mm -hmm. you know they are not they are not very many of them so they have to limit their demands a little bit you know in order for 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 everybody to have he uh, his or her own share of god's creation you know you go you get somebody yeah it's not all that it's not a total package but okay that is what god has given you you can you can yeah you can make uh, a life with a, that particular individual you know if you are lucky to get a total package good for you but not everybody is i that think lucky. we should go for love and love build a lot of things yeah but the trust these days is love. not there the, the trust, love is there the trust will come yeah love can be faked <laughs> So many people if you fake, fake so many people fake love these days. Mm. If it seems that the money is there, they can pretend that I've seen a lot of collapsed marriages. Because they come in, they see it and they pretend as if oh they are in love. And before you know, they are off. I think everybody should have some love in their heart. And not think too much of money and I think what my, we want and, I hear what you're saying yeah. and where you're going. My take on the thing is I think she's had some bad experiences and we cannot discredit them. Mm. And that is what is making her expectation or her want this big. As some will say, and some will say she just deserves it. And she deserves it because everybody she deserves does. the best in life. And yeah, 
I'm not going to sit here and say you will die alone or whatnot because I don't know. Hey, maybe out of this something amazing will come out. I hope, you know, Chrissy says she was going to, you know, that the lady will keep in touch and let her know how things go. I hope she does well. Also, let me not forget, she says she's going to therapy because of this whole debacle. Mm. So yeah, therapy is not a bad thing. It's fine. It's good that she has people to talk this through with and yeah, but we might hear from her in the future mm. and ooh, let me tell you, I hope it's with some nice arm candy who has the total package and it's a six, it's a seven figure man mm. so that people know that dreams come true because they do. She's in dreaming the, for you that. have to manifest in it. The, mm. in, the, in the beginning, I, I wasn't actually sympathizing with this lady. But hearing what is happening to her business, I really wish her well. I think uh, I will go to the extent of saying that I will pray for her. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not a therapist, but at least I am a man of God. I will pray for her so that she really gets what she wants yes. in life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's the end of this reaction with African auntie and African uncle. Hope you enjoyed. If you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bump stop as something that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you always like this video and hit the notification bell whilst you're at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start. What? Let me try it. God bless.